thousands of applicants applied, but you are here today because there are seeds of greatness in you with massive potential. But I want to remind you, this is not your grandfather's apprentice. The winner will receive a $250,000 job offer and the once in a lifetime opportunity to work for me as my protege, where you will help grow the $1 billion sports media empire that my team and I have built from scratch. Let's go! We have to create a digital media marketing campaign. Whose idea was that? Really? Really, you know exactly what you're doing in terms of social media. Like, I'm not your dog. You yeah. don't need to pat my head when I do something right. In this video, we, are, we want it. You bombed, you bombed, and you bombed. This is completely unacceptable. He's very strong on ideation, but executes almost nothing. I want her to shine. Can, can you line put me, please? Why are you here? Because I'm fighting for my life. To fight for my son. Forces load. It was really all bad. the work. I think all the talk, all the handicap is done. You know time. how many times I've fallen, I've failed the call. a million times. But I get Kentucky back Dirt. up and I fight. Here's Larry Cole. That's what you Thank guys might spin off and look into the starting gate. There's just a left alone. Country vision to change the world. And the last one below will be the horse that's never won a race. Only express. We all have tears about them. Last spot in line, they're on in line, we're ready for the start. Okay, the starting line starts. Where the rest of the world quits. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Maximum security is the Puma has good beginnings. And they go up to the early lead in long range. Bodies will go. And there goes Bodie and two points on the outside. This is the toughest apprentice in history. So they will lead the way the best warrior to win. Then it's Warren Will running in the middle to get the side spin off in six. If Puma will have second position in between horses, then running two points on the outside, followed by Country House. The coat of honor, tax and loose to Parfait. By my standards, it's alongside about 10 lengths off the lead. Great Magician rides the rail into that turn, and then comes Poster alongside of the Great Tacitus. Break of another two lengths more, back to win, win, win. Game winner is in behind him. He's second last, leading Japan's master fencer to the back stretch. So on to the back stretch they go in through this first quarter mile in a sensible 46.62 seconds. Maximum security leads the way by three quarters of the length. Long range Tani pressing the pace under John Ford on the outside second. Or Will is down toward the inside under a stump hold in third. Then it's Bodhi Express fourth, improbable behind horses in fifth. But call the sixth on the outside. Then it's Code of Honor who rides the rail into the far turn. Country House is alongside and then spin off. Luska Parfait is next, and on the inside comes Tax. Game winner is wide on the turn, beginning to pick up his stride near the back of the pack. But maximum security continues to lead the way. Midway on the far turn, he's a length and a half in front. Roar of Will is second. Long range, Tani third, and four wide and moving up. His country house's Bodhi Express plummets through the field, and here comes Code of Honor, and he bursts through an opening on the inside of maximum security, and they're into the stretch. Country house on the outside. Code of Honor down through the rail. Maximum security keeps on fighting. War of Will is there too as they come to the final furlong. It is Country House on the outside. Maximum security soon dead game. He keeps battling on. Maximum security. Country House one two down to the line. Maximum security wins the Kentucky Derby. And then it was Country House second, followed by Code of Honor third, and in behind them Master Fencer who was closing late. Inside of Tacitus, it's maximum security. He's never lost a race, and he wins it under Luis Saez. There is an objection that has been posted on the board, so it is unofficial for the moment. There you see the unofficial order of fitness. He did come out at the top of the stretch, nearing the top of the stretch. He impeded the one horse more of Will. Mm -hmm. Maximum security moved out of lane before he was clear, forcing the rider of number one War of Will to check up a little bit. Now, at that point, the 20, the runner-up country house, whose crank foul was on the outside, yellow cap. It ha actually happened before that. It did not affect number 20. He didn't, he didn't have to steady because of this, but the one horse did have to steady. Or of will. Coming to the top of the stretch, maybe about a 16th of a mile before the quarter pole, 
is where maximum security ducked out. He did bother War of Will, definitely. But it's hard to see that he did anything to Country House. So here we see him as we're going into the far turn. This is the three furlong pole, the green and white pole as they're passing right now. War of Will, the horse with the white stripe on his face, directly in behind the horse with the pink silt. Maximum secured. Now he has a lane to run. So his jockey is taking him outside of Luis Saez and Maximum Security. Right there is where number seven Maximum Security came out of lane or Jim, forcing War of Will to steady. It's on a spot of the racetrack where it's very hard to determine exactly how much he impeded him, but you could tell by the reaction of Tyler Gaffleone on War of Will that there was definitely some contact. They just won by that. They did. So for the first time in the history of the Kentucky Derby, the horse that crossed the line first has been disqualified. After the objection, Country House wins the Kentucky Derby with Flavian Pratt at 65 to 1. You think he should have stayed up? I don't know. One of the longest shots in history to win the Derby after one of the longest waits ever after the Derby.